Right, welcome back to another video. Grumpy Agent Gamer PSVR. About to play Shuttle Commander, the Hubble Space Telescope missions. Big thanks to the developers for sending me out a copy of this. I'm a bit delayed playing it because my house was struck by lightning and it blew up. It didn't blow up, they didn't explode, but everything stopped working. So TVs, PlayStation, PC, amp, everything stopped working. But I'm back now. Yeah, new fraud insurance. Got everything, so let's have a go. Space Telescope. I remember watching this live. Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC. OTC is go. TTC. Thank you, booster go. TTC. TTC is go. LPS <laughs> is go. Mila. Mila is go. STM. Oh, wow. STM is go. So Next I'm, um, this console is go. obviously we're, FPE. we're FPE facing FPE upwards. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have a range clear to launch. And CDR. CDR is go. Heard those words, so uh, we'll get you going here shortly. Good luck, guys. Fantastic news. Thanks, Mike. Good luck. Oh, I wish I could give a thumbs up. There's no way I'm skipping the launch. Thanks, brother. Okay, clear caution and warning memory and verify no unexpected errors. Standing by now. Here is the retraction of the gaseous oxygen. Okay, we have no uh, caution of warning enunciation. Stand up okay. complete. Thank you, Charlie. The gimbling of the main engines is complete, and the aerosurfaces have been verified that they are positioned for launch. The external tank now is reported to be at flight pressure. OTC, 212. Close and lock your visors and initiate your O2 flow, and you all have a good trip. All right, everybody. Okay, everybody. Camp's in. Visors down. What about my visor? Yeah, let's just go for ET LH2 pressurization. Give me a time checker on the horn. Go to your arm clear. That's right, line and clear. Stay your line and clear. The arm's going in. Hello, four, line and clear. 90 seconds away from launch now. Look at the horizon now. One minute, 90 seconds. So I guess I'd be lying on my back now, wouldn't I? Facing. Are you going to take down that right shade or are you under there? Uh, the right shade. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. You guys have all done an awesome job, you know. Hey, I'm really proud of every one of you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gotta get there. <laughs> Sound suppression water system is now being armed, which will flow water onto the mobile launcher platform at the rate of 900,000 gallons a minute, beginning at T minus 16 seconds. The orbiter computers have positioned the vent doors to the launch configuration. Standing by now for Thank you, and you. auto sequence start. T minus 33. Tap on clock will hold at T minus 31 seconds. Due to failure. We've had so what? a hold. We do not know at this time what the problem is. We'll be standing by for a word, but the clock is holding at T minus 31 right. seconds due to, to Did you say there's a hold? Failure. So this, I'm guessing this is the live recording. And uh, MTS, can we verify that the valve is closed? Negative. We are right now show a open position. We cannot verify the valve is closed. Let's do this with MTS. Go MTS. Okay, we have an OCC read now. If we have the closed power on and the open position off, we can cy uh, cycle one time and try to pick up the closed position, but uh, we never picked up the closed power. 
Okay, and MPS, uh, we have well, a that doesn't sound good. You're, 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 you'd certainly be concerned, wouldn't you? What has happened is the ground launch sequencer would not hand off to the orbiter's computers to complete the count because the liquid oxygen fill and drain valve was showing off when it should be on. Uh, we've been holding two minutes. I'm not sure. Well, I've, I'm, I'm, I've got the move controllers in my hands, but they're not lit. So the so I can reset my view like that. And I press X to start the game on the move controllers, but I've got no hands. So it's not tracking at this point. The confirmation that we have successfully okay, and, uh, you're in the front recycled. Sequence, MPS. But I'm guessing it's going to have to support the controllers once. Okay, you have a go to proceed. Uh, once I'm in space, I copy. Mark. You can see the ocean. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we're on. Let's go for auto sequence start. We are go for start. Right, everybody, 25. Booster hydraulic power units have started. Oh, it'd be so terrifying, wouldn't it? <laughs> I wish I had a rumble seat. <laughs> Look at him holding on. There's a lot of um, jagged metal in front of my face. I think I'd want some cushioning around these um, controls. Everything in this cockpit would break the visor and tear the suit. It's loving it. Look at him in the middle. I love VR. Although, there's no... Um, points of reference outside the window so you you don't know that didn't sound good there's no momentum oh look at the, star, the stars are starting to appear you see that Sixty miles. Okay. 
How's everybody doing on the mid deck? Doing fine down here. Okay. Nice. Well, that was interesting. Wasn't it? All systems continuing to perform <laughs> well with discovery. Velocity now is 6,200 feet per second. Downrange 100 nautical miles. The uh, environmental systems officer reports the FES is operating well. That is the flash evaporator system that provides cooling to discovery systems. I could press some buttons. And we're at 1.5 G, folks. All heads up 13-2. There's press to ATO very soon. Discovery Houston, negative return. Press to ATO, select Banjul. Press to ATO. Negative return. BTVT is trending to zero. Seem to be turning that's a bit. Good. Great news. Well, that's me facing forward now, it's moved. All three engines are stable at 104%. Auxiliary power units all performing well. Discovery's velocity is 8,400 feet per second at a downrange distance of 175 nautical miles. 2.1. I have to Google what the pilot looks like. It's a true representation. <laughs> Brilliant. Discovery, Prestamico. Prestamico. The press to Miko call signifies that Discovery could make the main engine cutoff target. Discovery, Droop Banjo 109. Droop 109. And that last call means that uh, Discovery could reach the Banjo transatlantic site on one engine at 109%. Hopefully this thing won't come off. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. This book came over the top of the head. Yeah, just kind of de velcroed Hmm. Is it a long way? Do you think it's like a what a two hour flight? But Guidance officer confirmed. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Good. Discovery, single engine banjo one oh four. Good, Imagine if it was like an eight hour flight. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, Holy cow, we're smoking. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could see that. Please draw officer reports, so all three engines stable. Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. How many switches you think you'd be throwing now? Zero. <laughs> Coming up on throttling. I agree. The single engine press call means that uh, Discovery could make it to main engine cutoff targets on one engine at 104%. Discovery's velocity now 16,000 feet per second. There's some quite serious tracking miles, issues there. Downrange 435 nautical miles. It's slowly rotating to the left. Oh, looks good, folks. Discovery Houston, concur. No action on fuel cell pH. No action is required. No impact on that uh, pH message. That uh, message was expected during this phase of the launch. Air throttling. Minute to go. One minute to go. We got it. All right, do you all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Engine throttling back now to maintain the 3G limits on it. the uh, vehicle. Discovery is 580 miles away from Kennedy at an altitude of 56 nautical miles. Yeah, this helmet's heavy. Velocity yeah. now 19,000 feet. Heavy per helmet. Second. Show off. You know, with this DSO and these. Uh, no one likes to show off. So you sort of get squeezed uh, every which way you can. Yeah. Okay, just go easy, guys. 
compass in there. We are standing by for main engine cutoff at uh, eight minutes. Do you have a compass? Mission elapsed time. There's no north in space, is there? Bingo! That was a bingo. That was a bingo. Bingo got time. Bingo got the light. I agree. It's a lot easier at 3G. It's not right. much better. Run the space, everyone. Hard to believe it was not there, Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. It's nice up here. At 300,000 feet. <laughs> Welcome to space. A peculiar view. Boy, look at that. What an amazing vehicle. Amazing. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. This is, oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> That's space. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, boy. It's good for his own. And the booster officer also confirms a, a nominal main engine cutoff. Looks great. Trophy. So yeah, thanks for watching. Do leave a thumbs up, do subscribe if you'd like to see more.